Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calkine. The recent attack on telecommunication giant Optus gave way to a frightening data security crisis. About 40% of Australia's population has been affected by the situation and the issues are continuing. Some experts have even pointed out that this might be the biggest data breach in the country's history. The leaked information includes date of birth, names, phone numbers, and in some cases, addresses and driver's license numbers. The company looked into the possibility of unauthorized access to customer information. And according to Optus's announcement, its most affected current and former customers will obtain a free 12-month subscription to the credit monitoring and identity protection service Equifax Protect. The company's announcement highlighted that the most affected customers will receive direct communications from Optus over the coming days on how to start their subscription at no cost. In light of this issue, let's have a look at how some of the telecom companies are faring on the ASX. First one is Telstra. Telstra Corporation is a telecommunication and tech company which provides telecommunication and information services to millions of customers. Segments of the company include Telstra Enterprise, Telstra Interco, Networks, IT and Telstra Consumer and Small Business. The company's shares were trading in the green on September 29th. The shares were priced at around $3.88 and then on a year-to-date basis, the company's shares were down around 8.6%. Moving on, TPG Telecom. The Australian telecommunications company offers internet, mobile and fixed line services to its customers, including residential users, small and medium enterprises and government, plus large corporate enterprises and wholesale clients. TPG Telecom shares were trading in the green on September 29th. The shares were priced at around $4.89 and then on a year-to-date basis, the company shares were down by around 17%. And the last one to have a look at is Spark New Zealand. Spark and its subsidiaries provide telecom primarily in New Zealand. The company shares were trading in the green on September 29th. Shares were priced at around $4.48. And on a year-to-date basis, Spark shares were up 3.7%. Now that you're up to speed, remember to hit that bell icon and subscribe as well to stay up to date. I'm Holly Shields for Calcine Media.